Hey everybody, it's Jeff with AC Sim. Getting ready to go at a, another road course race as we continue our career. And we're in the Spec Racer 4, the D-Class car. So we're getting ready to go. This is the Sebring Club Track, and, and good thing we're on the Club Track because we got a small field here, just seven cars in this race. You can see my qualifying times. I got beat pretty good at qualifying. Green, green, green. So I need to find some speed here. Not one of my better tracks, I'm not really a big fan of Sebring, so this is the first I've ever ran this club track. It's, it's kind of neat, it's small, very, very short track. We got kind of a club atmosphere here in the SCCA spec Fords with a short field. This is 20 laps and I'd like to just survive. I'll try to push for what I can get. But if I can force these guys into a mistake and, and not make any of myself, that'd be awesome. This car is so sketchy. One of the more difficult cars, I think, for me to drive off road course, that is. Uh, when you lift off the throttle, it just gets so tail happy. But long, long race, 20 laps. Got in there a little deep. Couldn't get back to the throttle. I drove in so deep into that corner. These guys really aren't getting away from me as of yet. And they're pulled a little bit. As fast as they were in qualifying and uh, as conservative as I like to be with this car, especially on the starts, I thought I'd be well out of distance of catching them. Whew. <laughs> Gets a little loose there. Starting to stretch it here on me. But they're really battling each other. I kind of missed that corner bad. I gotta slow down the cutting penalty. Come on. Oh, come on, Iris. Killing me there. Got one on your left. So we're gonna get passed for clear, third. On the slowdown penalty. Feel like I gave up a lot more than one second. <laughs> it's like give back 1.1 seconds. Uh, I did and more. Try to get down the inside of this guy. One on your left. See if you'll give me the room. Oh! On your right. All clear, all clear. I didn't mean to get into him. I was just trying to get down to the inside of him. And I guess he didn't want to give me any space. It's probably my fault. I shouldn't have. Uh, probably not the best passing opportunity there. Not very sporting of me, I guess. I'll just go back and look at it and see what happened, but I might have just put my nose in a spot that it wasn't going to work. You're back in third. So these guys have gotten out quite a ways on me now. I don't know if I'll be able to reel them in or not. Ooh. 
Wow. Okay. That was a bad spot to have that happen because I, uh, it's such a long straightaway. I did not get any speed coming off that corner. Even though I got a large gap behind me, I'm still trying to make up some time, um, just in case something happens up there, one of them makes a mistake, or anything happens that I can get back into this and get, get a chance at the win here. That's a little better there. Been really struggling with that corner. ways to go. Only six laps in. Not get as wide an entry as I needed them in there. Kind of went in a little too shallow. So big gaps in front of me and behind me. I'm not really under any pressure at all here. I'm 
probably start backing off now. I don't think I'm going to catch first and second. I want to just try to focus on bringing it home in one piece. Again, I had to lift off the throttle because I drove in there too deep and then it got a little loose. So I'm excited for this car for next week. It's going to my absolute favorite road course and my now home track, uh, Laguna Seca, and then also the IMSA series is at Laguna Seca for next week uh, on air racing. So I'm pretty excited to uh, do some GT3 in the IMSA series. So I'll have that coming. That'll be our first step into the C-Class license on air racing. I'm going to be doing some GT3 races. Terrible, terrible under that corner. So much time lost, you can see. Just way, way over drove it into that. I probably lost almost three quarters of a second right there on that. Much more comfortable and faster at Laguna Seca, so looking forward to that. Hopefully we can uh, be a little more competitive in this car. Like I said, this is not one of my better racetracks. <laughs> I feel like I made some big strides. I, I, did, I took a lot of practice just to get to where I felt comfortable to race. Um, there was not very many races going off. I probably could have used a little bit more practice, but once I saw one was going to go official, I just said, I'll just go for it. <laughs> Wanted to make sure I get a road course video or two done this week. Not a lot of great track options, and for me at least, uh, this week. Next week, there was all kinds of stuff that I'm like, I want to run that and that and that. So, always got to keep track of the schedules on iRace and try to figure there out. You go what you're going to run. Especially if you have a particular track. I know there's some people that just like to run one or two different tracks and just bounce around from series to series. I know that it's like that with the ring, that there's people that that's the only track that they run on here. They just bounce around whatever series happens to be running it. And they go and run that for the week. I have a, a friend that loves that track and runs it all the time. And I don't know if I could even learn a track that long. <laughs> I like these little, little tiny road courses, one and a half, two miles. Past halfway, the leaders are checked out on me. Then I have 18 seconds back to fourth place. No, I did that trying to get out of your way. I'm <laughs> 
Just for the air that this happened to you. Not sure what's happening up there. Somebody might have spun out. I think it's a lap car. It spun out while going a lap down or something. Not really sure what happened. There just dropped two wheels on the exit of that corner. That one's been killing me even in practice. I, I got so many of those cutting force penalties. I was trying to be really conservative in this one, not to do that. No. Oh, somebody spun out. The leader went around. I don't know if we're gonna catch him. He got it going again. That's him right there. Big cockpit car, so we have the tear offs available. The screen gets really dirty. So that mistake brought him back to us. That was originally the leader. He was pretty quick, though. I don't know if I'll be able to do anything with him. And another 1X. All of a sudden, I got like a target to, to chase after, and I'm pushing again really hard. <laughs> Just gotta calm down. Oh, that's actually not the leader. That's that's actually the lap car that I'm catching. I'm still 14 seconds behind the guy that spun. My mistake. Got a little too much curb, the car started to get loose. I had to chase it off into the dirt there. It looks like the lapper is gonna give us the inside into this corner, I think. Looks that way. Go nice and easy. Uh, let's see if we can start putting together some decent laps. Wait, six laps to go. Five to go, I think. Just pushing the car way too hard. myself on that upshift, I was so late. Five to go in the line. <laughs> Five to go now. Well, that was 
Much better at the there. That was the best I've gotten through that corner. You see, I've kind of backed off, and now all of a sudden my lap times are dropping. Like, I've just been overdriving it this whole time. So that's good to know if I can find another race, we might try another one of these. I think I found where I've been going wrong a little bit. It's up there. I just cannot figure that corner out. Seems like I hit it fine once and then I'm bad for five, six laps and then I finally hit it again. Got to wheel off into the dirt on the brakes. I did chase it. Kept it on the track that time. Don't know if it was very fast. Doesn't look like it. Sideways again, coming over that little berm, the curbing on the inside of the track there. Kind of threw me off a bit. This lap might be pretty decent. Coming to the white flag right now. Ah oh, man, again. <laughs> We're gonna have to work on the SR this week. The safety rating is gonna probably take a hit in this one. White flag, just gotta finish this one out. 
not not very happy with this one, but it's my first road race back in a while. So a little rusty. And it's been like four months since I've done a road race. Been doing all this dirt stuff. So we want to transition to getting more road racing done each week. I know in the past we've maybe done like one or two a week. I'd like to maybe up that a little bit. Hopefully get a little faster in this car, that'd be nice. We're gonna get a podium finish, third place out of it. Not terrible, not the best. Uh, we'll see if I can get another one of these races in. Maybe just look towards doing something else as well. I don't know, we'll see. <laughs> Depends on how much punishment I wanna take here this week. But thanks for watching. Uh, keep checking back for more videos. Uh, check out the uh, the Dirt series if you haven't already and check out my Laguna Seca video from this past weekend. Uh, give this channel a like or a subscription, that really helps me out. And make sure uh, these videos get seen by everybody that wants to see them. And I'll catch you guys in the next one.